so I'm reading the feedback of the new drum alert and um, you know, like two years ago, Brandon's fans were just, just complete dummies, right? Like his fan base are like straight up like dorks, dude, like straight up follower kids, like little kids and this is my hero Brandon and he can't do anything wrong. And so what happened was, is a story came out where like Brandon was bullying his brother and like threatening to ruin his career. And Brandon was lying and he was denying it, saying it wasn't true. And so FaZe, who came out with this information, FaZe was getting like so much hate from Brandon's stupid fans that they literally had to leak like a DM conversation with Rug telling other FaZe members that his Brandon was threatening, his, that Brandon was threatening his career and like bullying him and beating him up. So then you guys all shut up because you're, you know, you were proven wrong that Brandon was doing some bad shit, right? And now in this case, right, I am like, you guys say, oh, you're so biased. Well, I don't like Brandon because of that first case, right? And I've made it very clear why I don't like Brandon. But in this scenario, I gave the girls their their statement, right? Their, their story, their claims. And I gave Brandon and Anthony both their side so they could put out their statements. I think I was pretty fair and I was very transparent that I don't like Brandon, all right? But still, you guys are like spamming me with a bunch of hate and Brandon didn't do anything wrong and he's 100% innocent. Where is the proof? Well, I, do you really expect this girl to have a GoPro attached to her titties while they're taking her clothes off if the story's true? I, I, look, I don't know if Brandon is guilty. I don't know if Anthony is guilty and I don't know if they're innocent, but... I represented all sides, and honestly, if you're coming at me for being fair to everyone, you are the same stupid kids two years ago that tried to say, Brandon didn't bully Rug, Brandy wasn't threatening Rug's career. You're the same stupid kids, and you haven't changed one fucking bit. And it's embarrassing. You're like the K-pop community. You're all dorks. Let's be honest. Hey guys, I wanted to talk to you about the current state of my Twitter mentions because I'm reading through it and I'm just like, wow. Okay, so right now there's a mixture of Brandon's fans, all right, from the new drama alert basically saying that Brandon is innocent. These girls are cloud chasers. They are clearly lying, uh, which nobody knows if they're lying. It's just his word versus her word. Like most of these, you know, rape cases or sexual assault cases it's always going to be one word versus another word there's not cameras in bedrooms recording <laughs> every little thing so it's like impossible to get proof but anyhow they're saying the girls are lying and they're clout chasers at the same time okay we are interviewing onision tomorrow to give him a chance to defend himself and people are fucking hating on me saying you must believe all victims, you have to believe all the girls. How dare I give Onision a platform to try to defend himself? Clearly, I must be a predator as well because I'm giving Onision a platform. How can these, both of these things coexist at the same time? How can both of these agreements, or excuse me, opinions coexist at the same time? Guys, Dromler is a platform for the community to speak, for everybody to voice their opinion. And it is up to you, the viewers, to decide, you know, who's telling the truth or who isn't telling the truth. Like, you know, it, it's really a platform for people to speak. And, um, stop being mad at me, God damn it! I'm creating the goddamn entertainment. I'm creating the shit for you to talk about on a goddamn Monday night. So quit hating on me and check out my games, Cube Collector. Isn't you accusing them of rape at all? It was literally just. Okay, so I'm still working the story. Obviously, I'm putting out the information as it comes out on this. And, uh, you know, the, these girls went on live and they said that we refilmed the video four times. No, we didn't. That's not true. And then also, I found this part when they were on live where a guy is literally saying, like, in the background, like, keep crying, all right? So I posted that because this is some sketchy shit that's starting to come up, right? And uh, it's making the girl's story be, be very, very questionable. 
And so, so the response to this in my mentions is, haha, you lose, haha, take an L, Keem, haha, you were wrong. No, I wasn't wrong. I wasn't wrong. How how was I wrong? Okay, I, I never said that Brandon, okay, and Anthony locked me in a room and raped me. These are not my fucking allegations. These are not my claims. Brandon and Anthony didn't rape me. I am not the girl that was being interviewed on Drumler. I am the host of the show. See the logo, G Fuel, the beard? I was the host in the interview. Like, there's many people out there that know that I don't like Brandon, all right? I've said it multiple times on my show. So am I supposed to report this story, all right? And not, not be transparent, not tell my audience that I dislike him and why I dislike him before I report the story? Am I supposed to keep that a secret? Because I'll tell you right now how the internet reacts. If I didn't say that, there would be all these videos saying, Keemstar is just running the story because he doesn't like Brandon. And obviously he didn't say that in his video because he is trying to hide the fact that he hates Brandon and wants to ruin him. Like there's multiple like scenarios to this. And it's like, it's like really easy to see both ways. Like immediately, like your brain should just like click on both of those possibilities. I don't know, dude, maybe you're slow. Are you slow? Are you stupid? You sound stupid. Keem, my guy, you're the number one source of news according to your Twitter bio. So when you're telling us you hate somebody right before you're about to drop, not just some regular news, some life changing, devastating news, right? And you start off with, oh, I hate this guy. Fam, what, what does that have to do with these actual allegations? And all these people that dislike this video are not Brandon fans. I guarantee you they're like all of your fans, like maybe a small percentage are Brandon fans. They're people with just a brain to realize, yo, what's what's Keemstar's motives? And on top of that, while they're already skeptical, then they hear these girls, their stories and how many holes it has in it. And they're just, you're just, you're after the video's over, you're just left feeling like, did he really have to upload this shit? So now you're claiming that um, the video doesn't have dislikes from Brandon's fans. Well, I know, because I have the goddamn data. I mean, the video has 32,000 likes and half a million views. I mean, that is right on pace with every other drummer. That's right about the same amount. Normally the video has like 5% to 10% dislike ratio. In this case, it has way more, but it was 10% dislike ratio at the very beginning. Obviously some of Brandon's fans knew that, you know, I was uploading the video due to some of the tweets, but then he uploaded his own video. And when he uploaded his own video, because they, I'm literally on the phone with Brandon and with Rug, because I got their statement and they know that this video is coming and they wanted to upload their video at the same time I uploaded my video, all right? So when these videos got uploaded at a similar time, all those fans came over and slammed dislike, even though Brandon told them not to, all right? So look, bro, I get it. You know, you have a thought, you have an opinion, you have a conspiracy theory. But I still think you're stupid. I just, I just think you're dumb. Like, why would you say, I guarantee this, I guarantee, without like looking into it. Why don't you see what likes are on other videos that I have and dislikes and put some statistics together and like make a really good educated guess instead of just bullshit on my Twitter feed. I think you're dumb. I really do. I think you're a dummy. Sanity than me. Sanity than me.